Hey everybody, this is Captain Yeet, here with you for the Bad Guys 2 trailer talk. So, let's get into it. They just revealed the Bad Guys 2 trailer like an hour ago, and now I'm here. Which is really funny because, I think two days ago, this little trailer leaked. <laughs> simply coming up with a trailer, which is so funny. I don't know if they did this just to, you know, hey, everybody probably already saw it. Let's just get it out there or not. I don't know if this was planned or not, but yeah, the trailer leaked like two days ago. I didn't get to see it. I just remember I was scrolling around on Twitter. And somebody was like, hey, here's the trailer for the bad guys too. And it was blocked. And I'm like, oh, that must have been real. They blocked it. Oh, wow. That's crazy. It's already out. Like, so how did they leak this? I don't know. But um, anyway, let's get into the trailer. That's what you're here for. So at the beginning of the trailer, it's a flashback scene when the bad guys were still bad. Because obviously at the end of the first one, the bad guys became the good guys. They're not calling themselves that, but you know, they became good. They're not doing crime no more. But it's a flashback back when they were in Egypt and they're kidnapping their car again. So I guess they got impounded in this temple. Or maybe it's like the origin of how they got the car. No, no, no. It's not the origin because he already knows how to drive and everything. Plus, he said, I'll never drive another car again. So, he's used to his car. The, the, you know, the nice black car from the first one. So, anyway, they're, they're kidnapping and just going over about how, you know, when they were bad, they were really good at it. Like, they love being bad guys. They're really good at being bad guys. And we get this dope scene. But when they're driving away from the cops, Mr. Wolf drifts over two buildings. And he perfectly hits a cage to unlock it and get all the cops off. I'm like, okay, <laughs> that was cool. And then here's the joke when he was saying he'll never drive another car again. But then he driving this old down, worn down car five years later. Which I'm like, why did he do that? I mean, it's obviously we don't know what happened in those five years. They could they could explain it, but. He could have kept the car. You know? It wasn't like it was a, a bad thing. And when they got out of jail in the first movie, they still had the car. Remember that? Like, they still, I don't know why, you know, they, like, it, but yeah, sorry. I, I was like, at first I was thinking, oh, I got impounded because of the crimes. But no, Diane had the car to pick him up when they got out of jail in the first movie. So why? I don't know. It's just a joke. But it's five years later and Mr. Wolf is... Feeling a little down on his look because obviously he's wearing, he has that car. He needs to get a job because, well, well, he was, you know, he's going good now, but nobody really wants to hire him. And that's when we get this other pretty funny joke where he tries to get a job at a bank and he goes, you know, hey, a lot of my great memories are at banks. I would love to work at this bank. And the guy that's running the bank is like, you robbed us three times. Oh, that, that was this bank? <laughs> so obviously it's kind of hard to find a job when they've been doing bad stuff about, I don't know, five plus years, you know, five plus years, they've been doing bad stuff, it's pretty hard to catch a job, and we do get a cameo from the mayor, and I think we get a, a cameo from, not the mayor, my bad, um, what's her name, the cop, I meant to say the cop, and I think we do get a cameo from Tiffany Puffett, that was a news reporter name that kept doing news reports, I don't know if that was her or not, it kind of looked like her, but it was like a really quick scene, I don't know if I'd be, I don't know if I'd be able to catch it, but we do get to see um, the cop from the first movie, actually, what was her name? That, uh, the lieutenant, the lieutenant of the first movie, that lady, and she has a new hairdo, and she's just telling the bad guys that she's watching them now, and I mean, it's, it's been five years, you know, they should be pretty decent, but, you know, you never know, you know, <laughs> you never know, and while she's talking to them, Mr. Sark gets kind of nervous, and he karate chops her on the head, and she passes out. But she looks the same besides from, you know, just a new hairdo, like I said. Is she still a cop? Because you can still tell she's wearing the cop uniform underneath her big coat. And this is the scene where this is our karate chops up by accident because he, he got pretty nervous. <laughs> he got pretty nervous. So anyway, after that, we get, to, we get to see the new characters in this movie. And right now, they're calling themselves the bad girls. At least that's what Mr. Piranha calls them. And the leader of this group, Kitty... Well, that's her name. We don't get to everybody else's name. But they said that they're really big fans of the bad guy's work. They're like fangirls, basically. And when I heard that in the trailer, I'm like, oh, okay, that's a little bit interesting. We don't know what the pig's name is or the crow's name, but the main one right there is Kitty. So I guess that's like some... So the thing that was confusing about it was I think when they announced that making the bad guys too, uh, like a while, they announced it like, you know, way long ago. I think like a year after that, there's a description that got leaked. Obviously, we don't know if the description was real or not, so if you don't want to hear it, I guess, um, what's it called? What's it called? Oh, right here. <laughs> as, long as, as long as I'm holding this in my hand, I'm saying, I guess a spoiler if you don't want to hear the description, but I'm um, starting now. So, so, so mute me, so mute me. Um, the description was like, I don't know what word for word, I'm just, I'm just paraphrasing, 
But it was basically like the bad guys have to go up against Diane's old group. Because I guess before she was the Crimson Paul, like Solo, she was in her own group, like the bad guys. So they have to go against them. And they also have to do something to do with space. And in this film, we do see a spaceship. So I guess that part of the description was true. And when they did the big fans, I'm like, oh, I guess this, I guess they cut that whole it's Deanne's old group. Maybe maybe it's still Deanne's old group because I was thinking, well, they'll have counterparts. So I guess Deanne was the Mr. Wolf of the group. Kitty was, well, Kitty got a little bit of, like the Mr. Wolf of the group. I don't know. So, <laughs> I thought it was going to be like specific counterparts. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, maybe, maybe they just cut that out on that. But they're really big fangirls of it. But they captured the bad guys. If you notice in this scene and in the next one, while they're talking to each other, the bad guys are tied up. While they're saying, hey, we're big fans, they're showing them videos of them, like, stealing stuff. They're all tied up. So I guess then they, like, ambushed them to tie them up to ask them for something. So in this scene, they're asking the bad guys to help them with a job. Because the job they're about to do is really big, and they need extra hands, and they need a job, and they're going to get money. Obviously, Mr. Wolf is like, well, you know, I don't know if you read the news, but we're good now. She says, I'm not asking. So what could pursue them? I mean, I know they're tied up now, so they could kill them. But after they get untied, they could just run away, go to the cops. So they have to have something specifically to make them do this bad thing since they're good now. And my only theory I could think of is they captured Deanne and they're like, you know, we're not going to let her go unless you do this job for us. We do get to see Deanne for a quick second on the space shuttle. But we see them on the space shuttle and we see her for a quick setting, uh, <laughs> second. We see her for a quick second fighting Kitty. So that's my really only theory. Cause like, why else would they do this heist? If they, like, you know, they have to be forced against their will. So unless they got, like, nanobots in them that can blow up, like, the Suicide Squad or something, you know, they, I'm pretty sure that I'm, I'm guessing they captured the end. That, that's what I'm guessing. <laughs> that's what I'm guessing. And then the next few scenes, it's just them, you know, like, you know, are we really bad guys? What should we do? I don't know. You know, like, just, just a lot of stuff going on. I can't really think of what else they could really do to make them do this. And <laughs> really, I really want to know what this heist is about. Can we get to see... Um, I'm, I'm going to just call the pig Mrs. Pig or Mrs. Warhog. Mrs. Warhog and the Piranha. We see Mr. Piranha and Mr. Warhog. I mean, Mrs. Warhog, like, fighting in wrestling outfits. We see all these wrestlers chasing everybody. Like, we see a bunch of crazy scenes. I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening, or whatever this heist is. And then the back of the scene, we see Deanne fighting Kitty for a quick second. And, and, and that's Tiffany Tully, right? I mean, that's what I'm guessing. It was a quick second. She's wearing a different color. But it's been five years, but I'm pretty sure that's Tiffany Tuffet. But anyway, a bunch of different scenes happening. We don't really get the details of what the yeah yeah, yeah that's her. I just paused it. That, that's definitely her. That's that's definitely her. We don't know exactly why they're going to space, what they're doing, or what's happening. Cause this is like the first teaser trailer. But and we, when we see Dan too, so we get to see what's captured or whatever. But we just see a, a bunch of scenes of all this crazy stuff happening. And the most craziest thing, especially at the end, was we get the whole bad guys group running on the space shuttle, jumping to the other part. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what's going to happen, but they did not look like they're going to make that. <laughs> they're not going to make that jump. So I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what's going to be able to push them up, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. In the very end of the trailer was uh, the Crow, so Mrs. Crow and Mr. Snake, uh, they're dating. Apparently they've been dating. So I'm guessing they, like, see, starts dating Mr. Snake, they get close, and then they ambush them. And that's when we get the scene of them talking like, hey, we're big fans. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, that, that's what I'm guessing. Because oh, maybe, maybe they really are dating, but they she still, like, you know, ambushed them <laughs> to get them to do this. The only thing I can think of is why would they go to space for a heist? Because just, ow, my bad. <laughs> I hit my stitches a little bit. Um, I was trying to think, why would they go to space, you know? At first, I was like, well, maybe they're just stealing the space shuttle, but, it, I mean, it's going off, and they're going up. And in that quick scene of Kitty fighting against, um, when I'm fighting, she got knocked upside the head. <laughs> but, you know, going against Diane, she, um, she had a space suit on. So they're meaning to go to space, but for what? Either they're trying to steal the moon. And that's kind of, I, mean, I want to say it's like ripping off the Spig with Me, because anybody else could still do that. I mean, the Spig with Me can't be the only movie where that happens. or Maybe they're stealing the moon. Maybe there's something in space that's valuable, and they're gonna steal that. Or I don't know. That's the only thing. That's the only two things I can think of. Either they're stealing the moon or another planet, or there's something valuable in space they want to steal. And obviously, they want the bad guys help to help them do that. 
who knows? But this movie's coming out next year. It's coming out in the summer. We don't get a, a specific date. It just says this summer. So, you know, I mean, May through July in that time frame. I guess you could put August in there too, because that's technically part of the time of summer too. So May through August, somewhere in that time frame. Twenty five is packed. So many movies. We got so many movies coming out next year, man. I'm gonna be doing a lot of reviews and a lot of trailers. But I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. I really love the bad guys. I mean when it was in theaters, I didn't see it when it was in theaters, but I kept seeing the posters when I went to go see movies and I thought it looked really cool. And then like a year later, in twenty twenty two my i was living with my family i'm mean, not all of my cousins in 2022 for the summer when i was there they got peacock i was scrolling around peacock and the bad guys was up there. i'm like oh hey the bad guys i haven't seen that yet i watched it i'm like wow this movie's really good <laughs> i really liked it i just rewatched it like a month ago on prime it was a really good movie i recommend it you go watch it but yeah uh this was a, this was a trailer talk so like say and subscribe i'll see you all later thank you all for watching I think all of them will be wonderful human beings, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. All right.